Hello everybody and welcome to my Twin Flame reading. This is for those of you who feel you are on the Twin Flame journey, um, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I will also be doing separate readings for karmic partners, for soulmates, and life partners. So if you're not sure which one you are, go ahead and watch them. Um, and whatever one resonates best with you is probably the journey that you are in. Um, but this one is for if you believe you're in the Twin Flame uh, connection. I will be getting the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine's um, energies in this reading. So I hope you enjoy it. Spirit Angels, what message, or yeah, what messages do you have for the Divine Masculine in regards to his Divine Feminine? What is the Divine Feminine's past energy? What is she bringing to the current? Okay. Wow, a lot. Okay. Okay, so the Divine Feminine. Well, you have two Knights here for one. You have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So in the past, this person entered your life very quickly. Um, they came in rushing in. They swept you off your feet. They took the wind out of you. And even more, they have this cup that is so full of love for you. This is a connection that you've never felt before. This is a love unlike any other that you have ever experienced. And even though it was um, premature, as in you guys had hardly known each other, um, it offered such a pure and innocent connection between the two of you that it is something that you cannot get off your mind you cannot forget um, however they were connected to somebody else when you met each other they did have another partner and they had to allow that chapter to end before you could move forward you also had your own things that you had to get over and heal from and let um, go in order for this connection to come back together and with the Ace of Swords, you you found truth and clarity, but only after a long period of healing and self-love and, and really working hard on yourself in order to understand uh, what this connection was and what had actually even really happened. What is the Divine Masculine's past energy? Oh, of course, yes. Okay. So the Divine Masculine um, was feeling stuck, feeling trapped. They didn't know what to do. They had previous engagements. They had other people that they were connected to and responsible for. So what they did, they just hunkered down and became very stingy with their time. They could have possibly even cut you off. This is somebody that um, was ghosting their divine feminine because they were trapped and they didn't know what else to do. They didn't know how to explain to the divine feminine how they were feeling because they didn't understand it themselves. What is the divine feminine's current energy? Okay. So the divine feminine. You have the ten of swords in your current energy and the chariot. So um, currently you are ending this cycle. You're ending the heartache, the betrayal, the backstab energy you are ending it all you are letting this cycle complete and new beginnings are coming for you and you're moving forward with or without your divine masculine which is what this part of the journey is meant to um, do for you you are strong enough and you um, have let everything go that needs to be let go of and you are moving forward single and you could be dealing with a cancer 
but or a Sagittarius. But yeah, you're just moving forward in a whole new um, power, um, a sense of self-love, and you're letting all this past go. You are no longer angry or upset about it, um, which is amazing. What is the Divine Masculine's current energy, please? The Sun. So, the Divine Masculine are currently being awoke. You guys are being enlightened. You are given promise of a new day, the bright sun, um, with the baby and the horse moving forward. Your path is guided and, yeah, your path is guided by the divine. And not only that, but you're allowing things to be illuminated that you tried so very hard to keep in the dark in the past. You are ready to deal with whatever it is um, that you need to deal with in order to move forward and back into a reunion with your Divine Feminine. What is the Divine Feminine's hopes? Ooh. Oh my goodness, that's way too many. I'm sorry. I gotta reshuffle that. What is the Divine Feminine's hopes? Okay, the Seven of Swords in reverse. So there, uh, the Divine Feminine is just really hoping that this deceitful and heartbreaking and behind their back energy is done. They hope that that is something of the past and that that will never happen to them again. They're fearful of, um, they're fearful of, of feeling that pain again, that pain that they've worked so hard to overcome and to move forward from. They are fearful of that creeping up again. So their hopes are that when you come back into union with each other, that this is going to be a relationship of trust and, and truth and faithfulness the divine masculine's hopes is that the divine feminine is going to accept their offer when they move forward to offer their love to this person to the divine feminine they are scared that they really did you wrong enough that you're not going to accept it divine feminine um, what is the, oops, fears. Okay, so the Divine Feminine's fears are the Five of Wands. Um, outside competition, which branches back to their hopes. They are fearful of, um, of outside competition coming into the relationship again. And they're worried to say anything to you because they don't want any fights. Is there a Divine Masculine's? Fears, please. The Divine Masculine's fears is the Nine of Cups. So um, they fear being single. They fear being alone. They fear having the only thing that is in front of them is someone pouring them another drink. They are scared to be alone. They're scared of their cups going empty. What do you see for the future of the Divine Feminine for the next week? Okay, the future energy of the Divine Feminine for the next week is the Queen of Pentacles. So, um, loving, nurturing, grounding yourself, um, getting what you have to offer prepared for your Divine Masculine and um, your Divine Masculine's energy for the, the future energy for the next week is the Knight of Wands coming forward very quickly, very passionately, offering you that love 
and um, and coming in I'm hearing with the truth also they are going to come in very quickly this week and um, and give you a message that is going to cause you to breathe again it's going to cause you to feel stable your emotions are going to be stable um, and you realize you have a lot to offer to divine feminine divine masculine you guys you have been in separation long enough you feel that you can't get to your divine feminine quick enough so can I get one card of advice for the divine masculine and feminine in their journey for May 8th through the 15th oops and we got two. Oh my goodness very soon and make the effort so clearly decide what it is that you want because very soon it is coming to you like I was saying in the next week the energy here is so um, so quick so it's gonna come in very soon you just have to um, clearly decide what it is that you want and make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so whatever you feel is the right path for you to come into union with your partner Go ahead and do it. Set fear aside. Don't allow that to creep in and make you stagnant again. Make the effort. Do what it takes to move forward, move on, and move in the direction towards what you want. So that is what I have for you divine couples out there, um, whether you are in separation or um, kind of still talking. Um, this message is for you. So it looks like a good week for you guys. Some um, reunions are in the future. So keep working and I'll see you next time.